I became a neurologist for a number of reasons. When I was in medical school, I was fascinated by the neurologic system and all the diseases that go along with it. I did an enhanced track in aging and integrated medicine, and through that, I was able to care for a lot of dementia and Parkinson's patients. And it didn't take me long to realize I just fell in love with the neurologic patient population. I chose to work for this healthcare system because I know that my patients will receive excellent care at the Neurologic Institute. And here specifically, I was given the opportunity to see a very wide variety of neurologic patients. I can see all different kinds of neurological patients here. Being affiliated with Creighton University also presents me the opportunity to fulfill my passion for teaching because I get to interact a lot with different residents and medical students. During your visit with me, you can expect to undergo a very thorough history. Um, so we start off every visit by just having a conversation and then I'll move on to doing a detailed neurologic exam, which is really a head to toe detailed physical exam, probably the most detailed exam you've ever had before. And after that, usually I'll talk with patients about what I think might be going on and what are the different tests that I think may be indicated. And I'm a big believer in shared decision making. And at the end of the day, at the end of the visit, really all these decisions are up to you, the patient. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, patients are the boss. So I'm presenting you with these ideas and my recommendations, but at the end of the day, I want to come to a really good and thorough plan in partnership with a patient. My favorite thing to do when I'm not in the office is to play in the garden with my one-year-old daughter and husband.